All right, guys, um, once again from the half bar, I'm going to start studying a little bit, um, you know, the basic uh, techniques here that you can start using right away to, uh, to start passing your opponent's guard. From, from this position right here, uh, now, of course, my opponent is not uh, as, uh, getting a little bit better at jiu-jitsu. I managed to get him flat, but when I go for my underhook, he keeps his flat, and he's going to uh, start pushing me away. He, doesn't want, he wants to start shrimping to get his knee out. I remember how I said his knee needs to be behind me, and I want this one. He's going to do the opposite by pushing and shrimping to get his knees out. Right? What he's going to follow from here is going to put his knee in front of my chest. Okay, as soon as he puts his knee in front of my chest, I cannot, um, it's going to be very difficult for me to pass here. Okay, I might want to push the legs down, but now he's going to be defending, it's going to be a lot harder. So, um, this is going to be a hard structure to pass, so I cannot allow him to get that far. So when he comes this way, okay, what am I going to do? As soon as he starts pushing, and I started going here, start pushing away. I'm going to notice that before he gets his knees out, I'm already circling the head around his waist, pulling my head down. I'm going to lift and put my weight on his body so that I can bring that head underneath. Okay? This so is how I'm going to grip. Then I'm going to bring a hard finger for your legs. Okay? He's trying to hold me here now in the half guard. As soon as he realizes it's important, I do not pull my head here. It has to be at a diagonal of, his, of my leg. Okay? For, more, for a little bit better turn. I'm gonna squeeze my elbows, okay? And then I'm gonna sit back here to the side and extend. That makes it a lot easier, okay? To that little switch here to the side. From here I'm gonna step, okay? Turn, and come back to my 100 kilos position. Okay, one more time. So, I go from my the hook, he starts pushing me away. As soon as he pushes, I circle my hand. Okay, I lift, grab my hand underneath. I squeeze, turn, squeeze, stack. Okay, I have an go with his legs. Take a step to the side here. And switch from my 100 kilos position right away. Make sense? And um, that's going to be um, a very, very important, a very basic, very basic GARPA. But even in the, if you develop this as a white belt, you could, you, if you catch it with the right timing, um, there's no reason why you couldn't apply it to upper belts. And, and um, uh, this, this, this should work against anybody, you know, and any, any single uh, belt level. It's just a matter of timing and getting the technique pre precisely, you know, in the right time. Thank you, guys. Check us out at www.thirdlawbjj.com. Uh, also, www.bjjengineer.net. And... Um, Hope you like the, what we have in store for you. Thank you.